Hey everyone! I'm back as promised to um, show you how I do the image transfer like I did on this um, altered canvas and what I use is a product called Citrusolve. It is actually um, an all-natural cleaning product um, but it's been discovered to have um, lots of great uses for um, art also and I'm sure there's a lot more that can be done than what I found so far but the, the most popular use for it it seems has been um, to use it with National Geographic magazines something about the ink and the paper combination that if you brush or spray it between the pages it totally alters the photography which gives you some really really great effects um, so I've obviously done I've done a bunch of these and I scan them in and use them as um, backgrounds or incorporate them into digital art that I've done hope the glare isn't too bad on these but it's really a lot of fun to see how it does this and I'm pretty sure there are videos out there on how to do it with the National Geographic magazines um, and as for the um, image transfer um, it's so easy I mean to me it's like playing with a giant rub on <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna try to do one fairly quickly or at least part of one um, what you want to do is get an, get an image and print it but it has to be printed from a laser toner printer or copied from um, a toner based copier. Um, I printed an image. This is another image that I did using a Citrusol background. Um, so I'm going to try to transfer this to canvas. Um, the, Michael, the canvases that you get from Michaels, they say that they're pre primed, um, but for some reason I'm just not happy with how the transfer process works on a plain canvas. So I actually coated this with about three coats of just acrylic paint um, and I have it taped to the back so that it doesn't shift around and another piece of tape ready to go to the other end but I don't want to attach it yet. So I poured a little bit of the citrus salt into a little bowl and I have a little foam brush here. Uh, I'm not sure where it went. Okay, I don't usually use this one, one this big, but it's handy. So what I do is dip it in the citrusol, dip the brush in, and just rub the edge of the brush along the edge of the container because it's going to soak up a lot of it. And then I will actually blot it lightly onto a scrap towel and I will hold the paper up because I don't want the image to start transferring immediately because then it's going to get muddy. And I brush it along the image and you'll be able to see it start to come through. And go over the whole thing. That was nice and fast. Um, but you can see that it's really, really wet. I hope, I don't know, probably from that angle, you can see it's really wet. And if you actually started the process while it's that wet, you're probably going to smear a lot of the image. So I'll take the same towel and lightly brush off some of the excess. And now I'll secure the other end of the image to the back of the canvas. So now this is the fun part. This is where it's like a giant rub on. I take an old spoon and I just start to burnish. And you'll just do that over the whole thing or whatever parts that you want to get transferred. And, some, and I'll go over it maybe a couple times, or sometimes once is enough. But you go through, and you'll be, you can lift up and see how it's coming across and any parts that you might want to retouch. 
or go back over. So I'm just going to do this one little area quickly. And then I'm just going to pull it up from the back and see how it's coming through. So you can see it's, it is starting to come through. Um, there is some graininess into it, and sometimes I want that, and sometimes I don't. If I don't necessarily want it, then I'll just keep burnishing it. Um, on this one, I might keep it like that, because I do think it gives it a little bit more vintage quality. Um, but I'm just going to go through and see what happens. And I'm I think I'll probably speed it up from here while I finish doing this rubbing and then go on from there. Okay, and I think I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, it, it, there is still some grain to it, but I'm okay with that for this particular image. Um, so then you can just throw your image out. Now, what, the one thing that I didn't mention is that when you do your print, especially if you have text on there, you have to make sure that you are printing in reverse or mirror image so that when you do the transfer, it doesn't come out backwards. Um, but I like her. I'm I'm going to add some lace to her and some bling and um you know, just see how she comes out. So, um another thing that you can do is transfer onto fabric. Um this is just a plain napkin that I got from Sam's Club, which is like a wholesale club here, but inexpensive napkin. I've done it on pillowcases. Um, that I've gotten from the thrift shop, you know, just to make some custom pillows. Um, so I have my graphic, and again, I'm only taped at the top here, and I'll dip it into my Citrusol, rub the brush along the edge of the bowl, do a little blot. I'm going to hold the graphic up so it doesn't instantly bleed into the fabric. Now with fabric you don't have to burnish as hard. I do have a small canvas underneath of this layer so that I have something firm and so that it doesn't shift so much. Um, but I am blotting some of the excess off a little bit so that I don't bleed too much and now I'll tape down the end and start to burnish. Now, okay, but that gives you the idea of it. And you'll probably see a little bit of orange residue, what have you initially because it is wet right now but that does disappear when it's thoroughly dry and there you have yourself a nice little custom napkin if you want it um, so I mean it's that's my cell phone now okay somebody's trying to get hold of me <laughs> sorry about that happy music um, but it is citrus solve um, they do have a website um, which tells you where you can purchase it. Um, I know I hunted around all over all over town trying to find it locally and couldn't. Uh, I think the most affordable place I found was Soap.com. Um, it was like sixteen dollars for thirty-two ounces, and a little bit goes a long way. And it's actually great for cleaning too. I put in a spray bottle, two ounces of this. Um, to 16 ounces of water, lasts forever, doesn't streak, smells great, works great. So um, just a lot, a lot of uses for this. 
And if you can't find it anywhere local to you, contact the company. They are super, super nice there. Um, I think Michelle is the person that I've dealt with. And on their website, they also have an artist gallery because they realize, you know, how, how much people are actually doing with it other than cleaning also. So, um, hope you try it. Hope you have fun with it and would love to see what you do with it. And if you come up with something else to use it for, let me know because I'm all over it. <laughs> um, so thanks a lot. It was fun and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.